because I used to do this contest, contest, like with the, with the, with the big antennas and everything from the car, so they would have like a schedule and everything to, you know, take turns and do this, so they would have massive numbers, but now they're, everybody is at home in their cells, so they've got only like little wires on the balconies and things like that, so they've got like a couple of contacts with like 20 or whatever, so it's not that much different from us in here with the, you know, not that big antenna. I mean, and this style will probably make much difference, but, you know, that's not doable now, so um, it's all right, I, I suppose, what we can get, but it might be worth tuning around, we might find something uh, interesting, even if it's not interesting country, maybe some couple of calls, find, you know, nice or whatever. And then, um, yeah, just because there was a, it's really small shop, so it's a bit tricky, I think, to keep social distancing in there. So there wasn't actually many people in there, and um, it was only like, what, maybe five of us, and like staff would like be more staff than us kind of thing, because they're like uh, putting stuff in the shelf, but you can't really go into those, those aisles. I don't know if you've been there before, but it's really small, so if somebody else is in the aisle, you can't really go into the aisle without like being two meters apart from them, that's not possible. So you kind of have to wait until the aisle is empty or whatever. So you I just grabbed a couple of things like, you know, strawberries, bananas and some fresh stuff and then, you know, I went home. So I kind of had it like a combination of the walk and, the, you know, the shopping. So, you know, it's fine by me. And I actually, I went to that. There is a pizza place next to it. I don't know if, if you remember it. At the end of that, unit or whatever that is, there is like a pizza place. So I was thinking, hmm, should I get like a little garlic bread or something for lunch? And then uh, I, I, and on the, on the door it's written like you can't get in. And then the woman came outside and she was like, oh, uh, you can only order online. So you can't, I'm like, I'm here, I don't need to go inside. If you get the machine, cash machine out, I just do the contactless thing. I don't even have to go close to it. She's like, no, 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 we have to do on, online, like telephonic orders only and stuff. So. I bought a sandwich and it saved me lots of calories, so I'm actually glad in the end. <laughs> I couldn't get a pizza because the calories is full really, so, you know, and now today is Sunday, so I had chocolate and all the other things, and it's better not to eat, you know, things like that anyway. Um, so yeah, back to you, Alan, uh, and zero when you are, back to G8 XLH. Yeah, G8 XLH returning, I do know the pizza place. Um, not sure if we've had pizza from there before. I think we might have done um, when Sue Ryder had one of our, um, you know, sort of uh, events um, at the store. Um, they didn't they had a Christmas um, party um, with the magician, the same uh, one that we use here for the uh, radio club. And um, yeah, I think um, we bought the Marks and Spencer um, sandwiches along, uh, which they paid for, but then they also went next door and got some pizzas. So, uh, but yeah, um, I understand the fish and chip shop in Stanley Island is doing the same. You, you have to order online, um, and then uh, online, and then you, when you um, when you sort of turn up at the door, um, uh, they obviously uh, already got your well, they've already got your order, or they'll cook your order and then pass it out to you. Um, so that's um, I haven't tried it. I just saw that on on the web. Um, yeah, when I went to Morrison's yesterday, you weren't allowed to use your reward card um, because, as you found out, when you went to Martin Spencer's, they don't seem to have a way of um, getting the card reader um, to uh, to do that, and they don't want to touch your um, card, and I suppose you don't want them to touch your card either. So, um, but um, if you say the receipt in the case of Morrison's, they said that you know. And um, yeah, I'm not sure if I mentioned this yesterday, but yeah, the people um, in Morrison, they put up um, like a large Perspex screen, um, so the staff sit behind it, uh, the cashiers, and there's just a hole cut into the, the screen where the chip and pin machine is. So well, you can still talk to them, because you can sort of talk over the top and round the corner, but you obviously can't, um, you know, breathe directly at them, and they can't breathe directly at you. And um, then, as I say, when your shopping's done, you just obviously put your card in the machine and uh, and do it that way. But I did notice, um, yes, I've been to that Tesco's before, and I know how crowded it is. I noticed even in Morrison's there were some issues. Um, if you went down uh, some of some of the aisles, um, 
particularly when they were unloading uh, stock, you know. And I noticed they were getting rather close to each other as well, but I suppose if they're going to get it, they, they would have got it or something. But yeah, a lot of the store people, um, they obviously have this stuff coming on pallets, don't they? And uh, there were sort of like two of them unloading pallets, and of course they're quite close to each other. And then the manager came along as well, so there was three of them in the aisle. And, um, you know, it um, made it quite difficult to walk past them without getting quite close. And I just have a little moan at them, by the way. I know we shouldn't in this time, but um, I wanted to get some Coca-Cola. Um, and uh, where it normally is in uh, Morrison's, um, the shelf was empty at that point, And I thought, oh, well, OK. I wanted a big box, and they uh, had to get a couple of small packets. But then when I got towards the checkout, there was a huge pile of um, boxes of Coca-Cola down by the f uh, freezer area. And um, I then sort of thought, well, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take that, I'll, I'll go pick one of those up and take the smaller cans back. Um, and I said to them, look, you know, why didn't you put the Coke where it always is? And I said, now, you know, OK, I've now got to put these back on the shelf, which I've now touched, you know, and... Um, um, yeah, why, why set up a pile of Coca-Cola down by the freezers? I yeah, don't know why they did it, really. Um, and yes, they also, uh, inside the store, they um, where the freezer aisle is, they put a barrier down the middle, um, just one of these, you know, um, uh, tape sort of barriers. And um, that was where the, uh, the queue for the checkout was. And I thought, well, yeah, it's um, all very well, but you've got to go past all these people and as you say, it's not very wide. I want to get some uh, fish fingers um, from the freezer cabinet at the bottom. So I had to go past all these people waiting to queue at the checkout because they were holding them there and bringing them forward one at a time to the actual cash desks or pay desks or whatever, um, just to um, you know, get the fish fingers and then come back again. Um, so, uh, but uh, anyway, um, I don't know if they did take any notice of me, but I wasn't trying to be Mr. Grumpy. But I thought, well, you know, if they put stuff where it normally is, then it would be a lot easier. And, and people would know where stuff is, and you wouldn't have to stop and put stuff on the shelf again. Uh, M0, here you are. Oh, gee, H -H -H. I don't know, I, I haven't actually been in the bigger shops, really. Mm, I, last, last week, when was it, Tuesday? I was in Marks and Spencer's, but... They were like having the signs on the floor, like when you can, where you can stand and everything. But they haven't had any like screens and these things, which is, you know, they could do it if they wanted to. I don't know how they, you know, how they approach it on it. But, I mean, touching things, I wouldn't even tell them anything. I would just go and return it. Cause imagine how many people.